in there. Look, he's got a big old leech. It's 5.46 in the morning, and me and Jake Ski Guy are heading to North Dakota or Montana. <laughs> Woo! Hey there guys, I'm just uh, in the car with Jake Ski Guy, and we're driving through Duluth right now. On our way to Montana, Montana. Where's the lift bridge? That thing? Anywho, we've got about seven more hours or eight more hours or so, whatever, to drive. Uh, I think we're staying in Bismarck tonight, and we're going to get to Montana tomorrow. But uh, it's been a pretty fun ride so far. Yesterday, I bought, I bought a whole bunch of oysters because it was a seafood sale, and I've never bought oysters before, so I didn't know that they were fresh and you couldn't freeze them. So I bought like three dozen and I ended up having to eat like 18 oysters yesterday. So I got oyster farts. Jake's really happy about that. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm not going to do much recording in the car. It's just, we're just driving. We're trying to grind it out, get there. We're going to do some planning in the hotel room tonight. But anyways, we're going to keep driving. And it should be a fun trip. Oh, hey, it's the Mississippi River. Oh, there it is. All right, bye. We're just stretching our legs, taking a pee break. Central Minnesota. Central Minnesota. How many hours down? Five or six? No. Or, yeah. Five or six, yeah. Hey, dude. Free orange. Orange juice. <laughs> We're at the real scenic section of the trip. You know, over here you got some great scenery and up ahead, there's some great scenery up there. And over this way, there's even more great scenery. It's just, oh yeah. We're in tra -la 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 -la, North Dakota. Ooh. Yep, been driving all day. We are in a hotel room. And we're gonna go get some grub, chill, figure out some fishing plans and stuff for tomorrow, and we're gonna pass out and get driving some more. Oh boy! More 12 hours! Maybe nine. We haven't decided yet. So it was an uneventful night last night. We're just back on the road. I am at... We're in Medora, North Dakota, and I'm gonna try a pickled, pickled quail egg. I saw these and I... Hmm. Oh wow. Woo! Those are good. Mmm. Spicy. Mmm. Those are delicious. Oh, they're so spicy. <laughs> oh, I'm dying right now. This is so spicy. Mmm. I was not expecting that to be that spicy. There's Theodore National Roosevelt Park. We were gonna, we were gonna stop here, maybe spend the night, but we're deciding to continue on straight to the mountains. Probably to keep the bike in. Well, we decided to take a little stop at the Theodore National Roosevelt little scenic area, and there's some bison over there. Hey, bison. Hey, boys. Hey. All right, look at that. The Badlands. This is just like the Badlands. Is that South Dakota? The other Badlands, or is that North Dakota? South Dakota. 
Okay, yeah, this is just like the Badlands in South Dakota. But this is Theodore. Badlands in North Dakota. Badlands in North Dakota. All right. All right, we gotta get back on the road. Bison poop. It's that poop again. Montana. Oh boy, we're entering Montana. Yay! Eight hours to go to the Eight mountain. hours to go. <laughs> hey, it's, it looks the same as North Dakota. What gives? What gives? Oh, yeah. We are so sick of driving. We are about 40 minutes away from... Um, a reservoir on the Missouri in Montana where we are going to camp. We're going to do some just some car camp as I say, the campsite. And uh, after that, we might do some fishing tonight. And we should be we're we're in the place we're trying to go. Finally arrived. <laughs> Two days of driving. Um, it's sixty degrees. There's no snow. It's beautiful. It's nice. It is nice out. But, uh, yeah. Ready to be done driving. But well, we got a few hours to go tomorrow. We're going to do a lot of driving. It's obviously a road trip, but I'm, we're sick of the stretches of, you know, 10 hours plus. Well, yeah. The Rockies, there they are. We can see them. Look beautiful. That's a scenic view. I thought we were stopping there. Oh yeah. Oh, we made it. We're just gonna camp here for tonight. We got an hour until the sun sets. Next to this dam, we're gonna do some fishing. And I'm gonna go grab that firewood. Oh yeah. Pose us stealing other people's wood. Uh, you want some eggs? The people uh, went to town and Pose was taking their wood. They asked us to watch that wood for them and Pose was taking it. What's up, bro? Good old fashioned car camping. I'm gonna go try fishing a little bit. I've been in the car for eight hours or ten hours. I don't think I'm gonna catch much, but I'll try. dinner this evening, it's PB&J. Get out of here. 
Ooh, we're beat. We're <coughs> beat after that. What, what was it? Twenty hours or so total between the last two days. What? Of driving. Twenty hours of driving. Twenty-four hours of driving. Yeah. So we're pretty tired. I'm just gonna watch this fire burn down, and I'm gonna pass out. I'm pretty tuckered out. Real adventure begins tomorrow. So. I haven't eaten any dinner or anything. I'm just going to snack, pass out, I'm tired. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Let the adventure begin. The best part of waking up is when Jake brings you French press in a cup. fishing somewhere else but I need to change up lures this isn't if I'm casting near fish and they're jumping and I'm not getting them to bite something's not right we have y'all amped up yeah this is a nice little spot We are in the car moving. We're gonna go try fishing in a reservoir a little bit, but uh, I think fishing is gonna be tougher than I anticipated. But that's okay. Maybe we'll catch a fish the whole trip, maybe we won't. Who knows? But we're gonna head up towards Glacier today. I'm finally getting a taste of some mountains. So that'll be sweet. But anyways, we're just driving around. We're gonna go do a little casting. Now. 
Well, we gave it our best shot. Jake had a nice one on. I've had a couple on, but couldn't get them in. Bunch of bites. Moving on. Moving on with the day. Might get some more fishing in, but that was a pretty good attempt. At least we had fish biting. That's better than just casting with no bites whatsoever, so that was good. That was fun. So now we got a few hours of drive through the mountains up to the big old Glacier National Park. It's actually on the prairie. Prairie, is it? Great. Well, at least the, they'll be in the background. David, I said, okay. So I'm having dinner. He, he was out of town, so he asked me to have dinner with the head of the studio. And I'm sitting there with him at the table. I'm the mountains, oh yeah. Would you just look at that? Jake said there was going to be absolutely no more driving. He lied. <laughs> <laughs> We're just taking a little leg stretch and break, picture break. We got two more hours to go. We're driving. We to the park now. We got at least, in all honesty, I mean, <laughs> probably an hour and a half up the side of the park. All right. Once we get there. So, like six more hours of driving today. Yeah! Yeah! This is Egg Mountain. This is where the quails were harvested to get my spicy quail eggs I've been eating. A little meat-eating dinosaur named Trudon also nested at the Egg Mountain site. The eggs indicate that they were brooded wow. and sort of birds. Oh wow. Oh wow. Amazing. Just amazing. Hey there, guy. Jake's truck is having problems. It's, uh, oh, my hair's so pretty, I bet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyways, Jake's truck's ball bearing or something's bad making popping noises so we're just taking a break here checking it checking it near the mountains it'd be really good to have that blow out while we're cruising through the mountains just gonna go for a little day hike Maybe I'll go tomorrow. Well, that's that's no good. Potentially. Thanks, Posa. Thanks. Posa. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. Potentially two bad ball joints. Got to drive through the mountains. I hope we don't die. That'd be good if we don't die. It'd be cool if they ball just. There you go. That? Dead horse? Want me to go straddle it? Going down, 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 down. Hopefully there's no snow because I am so over winter camping. Let's go down. We're not in Michigan anymore. That's for sure. Oh, there's a wolf. Oh, and it's got a fish in its mouth. Oh, and the fish is pregnant. Hold on. My phone didn't go out there. Jake pulled over. 
Oh. I'm not supposed to know. I'm trying just to drive you, asshole. <laughs> For that, you're sleeping in the snow tonight. No, no. <laughs> Driving, driving, driving. Driving through the mountains. Beautiful scenery, hey? I think we're just gonna camp at Lake McDonald today in Glacier, Glacier National Park. Cause uh, as you can see, there's a lot of snow. We were hoping it wasn't so snowy so we could go camp in the woods, but uh, we're gonna have to find somewhere else to do that. So back in the car, driving we go. White tail. Hey dear, hey buddy. I just saw a fish. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't swimming after my lure, but it was swimming in front of it. I just saw a glimpse of it. Oh my god, dude! Oh. What? You saw it? I jerked it out of his mouth. <laughs> really? I jerked too early. Oh! No, I hope not. Did you say you bought oil? I brought oil, yeah. Um, we could use oil in these potatoes. Oh, shit. First, give me a chunk. A couple chunks. You got a knife? Someone was telling me you can just... What's that? Well, yeah, I guess that works, hey? What? You can just crush your garlic and it peels off after. Got some venison, onions, and garlic taking up over here. Yeah. And then we got... Nice potatoes and onions here. That'll be a good one. Oh, yeah. These are probably done. Yeah. Those are definitely done.
Hm. Ja, schon gut so. I don't know about doing a two-day wilderness trip. Yeah, we'll see about that. We'll try to do a one, but we still, with the snow, we'll only make it like a half mile. morning. Alright, so here's the scoop. Um, we were when we were planning this trip and we we're thinking about coming out here and stuff, we were thinking, oh you know we can the snow will be all melted like normal this time of year and we'll be able to go wherever we want, off into the woods and you know have some great wilderness camping in the mountains. The mountains have snow until May. But uh, we just went to the ranger station and they said since 1964 this is the eighth hardest or the eighth uh, worst winter they've had so there's tons of snow everywhere and we just can't camp wherever we want like we were thinking or at least just you know in the valleys and stuff there's still tons of snow so we're kind of tr struggling to find camping sp spots that are not campgrounds even the campground yesterday <laughs> we had to camp on snow Jake slept on a picnic table but uh right now we're looking to do some fishing near some uh, stream mouths and whatnot. Then we're gonna head down to a reservoir, try there. We're really hunting for a place to go camping and some place to do some kind of wilderness camping. So we'll see. We're playing it by ear, but you know you can't do, you can't figure out everything till you get here. So it is what it is. Be and we're flexible, but we're still having a great time, having fun. What a view. 
So here's the Hungry Horse Reservoir. We're thinking today that uh, we're gonna see. You can see where the water line is. It's normally like right up to the edge here, but they were saying it's frozen over. But it looks open. So what we're thinking is we're gonna porridge our shit down here and put it in a camp on here. But we'll see. This is the biggest dam I've seen. Look at that water shooting out. That's crazy. That's power right there. I bet the fishing though is probably pretty good right there. Alright, so looks like the plan is to actually do the trip on the uh, Hungry Horse Reservoir. Do an overnighter on there. We should be the only people on there because it's really just not open. Boats can't get on there. We're we're making an adventure right now, so we're gonna get some supplies, get some more information, make sure it's all kosher to do this, and we're gonna do it. Hell yeah! I think that's a wolf, dude. That's a wolf. It's a wolf. Hi, dear. All right, so here's a scoop. We can't access the dam very close. There's a log boom on the other side uh, over here. Uh, it's like right there. So what we gotta do is hike the canoe up the snowmobile trail for a ways and put it in a really steep area. So it's gonna be a sweaty fun adventure right to start. Well, good news and bad news. See right there how it's kind of not super steep? Well, I've already passed that. But uh, looking at it from here at this angle, that is way more shallow than where I'm headed to. So I was headed way up that way. So what I'm going to do is turn around and go back because that does not look bad at all. That looks about the best bet we could hope for to get this thing in because everything else is super, super steep. So I'm heading back that way and I'm gonna get the boat in the water. Here comes Jake. Save the day. We're gonna have to go down right here though. It is steeper than it looks. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting, but I was just about to start doing this myself. I would much rather do this with help. So that's a good thing he caught up. Hold on, I gotta get this out. I'm, break it I'm holding on to it. Man, that's a great way to blow a knee out. I'm gonna, you don't have to pull on it. Just go down and I can lower it to you too. That's what I figure we do. Good. I'm on the ground. 
ground right now. Oh, really? Okay. I need to use the canoe to get back up out of snow. Okay. Oh really? Yeah, so that's careful don't stab yourself. That's a good sign. Ready? You gotta come my way. I'm just I can't really steer it. I can just let slack go. Alright. Got it? Yep. Hold it for a sec. Okay. These rocks here don't stir up, stir up. Alright, I think I can slide across this rotten log. Turn that end. Yeah, one sec, let me get down here. Pull the end towards you. Oh. There we go. Alright. You good? Yeah. I'm just gonna go at this pace unless you say stop. Well, really only one. Oh, <laughs> it's cold. Oh, winter. Yeah. Oh. Well, there's only one way to do this one. That is some ice cold water. Woo! Oh, that is cold. Oh, oh, took my breath away. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's cold. I'm good at that. I am numb. Oh, am I numb? I'm numb, 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 numb. Oh, that's cold. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> oh, that is cold. We're canoeing. Now, we appropriately packed it. We could have fit that barrel of food in here. The point being is that had we done that summer trip, I think we would have been fine. Yeah. I have never paddled with mountains in the background. This is awesome. This is like glass, too. This is so worth it. <laughs> I'm all smiles right now. Well, you know, there's probably pike in here, but... I always hypothesize that pike are pike eggs transported by ducks. Oh, what a view, what a view. Like snow bike? Snow bike? Oh yeah. They, they, they looked at me like, what the hell are you doing, boy? <laughs> Carrying a canoe, dragging a canoe. <laughs> oh, you betcha. Of course it's going to be windy. Because today's so nice. This is the toughest paddle I've ever done in my life. <laughs> no, because it's so windy. 
And we're going against the current. No, there is the current. I know. We actually are going against Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's a helicopter flying up over there. They're checking on us. Hey, ducks. Yeah, it was ducks. Or gander, I think. Ducks. Ooh, look at this. Oh yeah. Woo wee. This is beautiful. No humans in sight. Just mountains and wilderness and forest and ducks and ice. You wanna go to Fire Island? Where's that? Yeah. It looks like slush breaking. Yeah, that's just slush. Huh. Yeah. Ice water. If I want to do this, I could have stayed at home. <laughs> oh, man. We're in the Rockies. We're in the Rockies. La -da -da -da. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but you're steering. <laughs> I can only control what we do so much. I was like, whatever, I'm up for the challenge of re-breaking through the ice. The SS good times. We're thinking about camping on this island. Naming it Jake's Island. But I don't know. We could burn that, we could make a fire in that stump. Yeah. There you go. We are just out in the wilderness. It feels like the wilderness. I guess this is a more populated area at the right time of year, but sure feels like wilderness right now. There is nobody for miles. Well, we I guess the dam people. Yeah, we know of. <laughs> the dam people at the dam. <laughs> but we're trying to figure out where to camp because we have to go up one of these ridges and kind of go in a flat spot in the trees, but we want that view of the mountains in the background, so it's a tough decision. It has to be the perfect campsite. You know? You know? You know? All right. We're out of the boat. I've got my hiking shoes on, my mountain hiking shoes. <laughs> We're gonna go look for a spot up here. We're gonna just walk around, see what we got. Cow deer wolf tracks, maybe, or deer. One thing I have to recommend, if you're ever gonna come to Montana, hike in the mountain areas, is to bring a nice set of Crocs, because oh, they're great for going through the Oh, through the snow, you know? Maybe they're not so great. I'm essentially hiking through the snow barefoot. 
Oh, it's cold. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it feels good. Oh. 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 Cold. Yeah, we got our spot. I'm going to set up my tent right here. Right there. Right there. My toes are slightly numb. Oh, where are they? Where are they? Oh, they're straight above us. Hey, they're just saying, hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, I'm not exactly sure how many feet up that is. It feels more like a hundred. I mean, look at Jake's down there. He's down the slope and he looks tiny. He's setting up a rig for fishing. I'm gonna get camp set up. Whew. Whew. Really? Nice. Jake's getting bites already. I just want to get camp set up and then I'm going to go out fishing. He just, he's uh, setting up a rig so he can let it sit and watch it while he's setting up and stuff. Unfortunately, I did not bring a uh, ground sheet for my tarp or for my tent. The reason I didn't bring out so much stuff this trip is because all my stuff, I have a bag that I'm going to fly back with because I'm, the reason this trip is uh, cheaper is because I got to drive out here with Jake because he's moving out here anyway, so I got a free trip out here. I said I get a plane right back, so I got to ship my stuff back. So that's going to be fun. So I'm going to try to bring out as little as possible while still having my main gear. Pretty cool to get a fish dinner uh, on this reservoir. I, mean, I know there's fish in it, there's got to be fish in here. It's a huge, huge, beautiful reservoir. Super deep. I mean, it's, it's shallower than it usually is right now, but it's still super deep. I'm going to have to be careful not to. Uh... Oh, it's going to be tough staking the tent here. Most of the reservoir is there's ice the rest of it. We we're pretty much at all the area we can go. It's ice back in that bay, ice in that bay, ice in that bay. What was open is all we got really. So for you guys watching the entire trip, the uh, with the road trip and all the other stuff, the reason I wanted to break this up into like, uh, you know, the full trip for who those are interested in the full trip. But I, you know, some people just want to see the wildernessy stuff, just the camping and stuff. They don't want to see me on the road, the road trip, you know. Some people don't want to see that. So I'm going to make separate uh, videos for all that stuff. But for you guys that want to see everything and watch every little bit, you're going to get the extra little fun stuff, a little in and outs of stuff that happened along the way you know you, you get to understand why this whole time isn't just a big wilderness trip because it just did not work out that way I wasn't thinking it was gonna be wilderness the whole time but I did think we were gonna to get to do some hiking up into the mountains and camping which we still might do some hiking through some snow but we were just anticipating less snow. Okay, so this thing is wet. All right, dude, I'm going fishing. Let's do this. Going fishing. So. I think my best bet for catching fish um, 
since he had bites off worms, I'm going to take uh, my jig and I'm just going to do some real slow jigging down on the, uh, the drop-offs and let it go deep because we've been seeing a lot of clear water and haven't seen any fish. So that's got to mean they're a little deeper or not around here, who knows? Who knows what it means? I should be using my ultralight because water's so clear. Hmm. That's actually what I'm gonna do. I might even. <laughs> I think I'm better off trolling. I want to be honest with you. We're trying the other side. There's a shallow inlet over there. You know what? I'm going to just troll to that inlet. Because I feel like since it's ice out, fish are going to be a little shallower, not the super steep drop off. Then again, I don't know anything about this body of water. So, mm -hmm. all right. Well, let's hope that missing that when I was tying my line doesn't matter, which it probably does, but. It's already out there. We're gonna risk it. I think my chances are fairly low for catching stuff anyways. So, nah. Who knows, maybe I catch the biggest fish of my life and uh, that'll be all the, the, make all the difference. Okay, let's see what we come up with. Okay, my first snag. Oh boy, I love snags. Oh, how I've missed getting snags. 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 Just got a reverse balance win. So yeah, this, uh, this area, you know, I don't think this would be, I mean, there's, down far at that end, there's some, uh, wilderness area, but, I don't think this is really technically like a wilderness setting, but it sure feels wildernessy because uh, there, you know there's the dam a mile or so that way, and uh, yeah, there's roads around and stuff, but it's all snowed in. It's early. <laughs> you know, it's what do you define wilderness as? This feels like wilderness to me. Yeah, there's more deep wilderness, you can go up in the mountains and get crazy, but... When I told Jake when, I, when we were camping today, I was like, I want to wake up and in my tent have that in the background. And this is pretty much one of the few spots where we could do that where there's not a lot of snow that we know about. Like, we're, we're, you know, he's been around this area before, I've never been here, so I have no idea. We've asked the rangers and stuff, and... You know, they try to help you out. But we definitely want to get this canoe in the water. But we're just going with the flow. Doing our best. And I'm fully satisfied. It was uh, fun getting down to the water. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, that was fun. Dragging a canoe. It was pretty much like my sled in the winter time. Winter camping all over again. I thought I was going to get away from it, but no, not yet. Not yet.
Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Let me tell you, when you're not catching anything, snags will get your heart racing. Oh, big old stump. Clear this water is. call it quits on the fishing for now. I haven't had a single bite. I haven't seen a single fish. I haven't seen a single minnow. I do not know what I'm doing on the Hungry Horse Reservoir. It's okay. And it's getting chilly. And I know that it is hot with that sun at our campsite, which I can see from here. I want to go chill in the sun and the warmth. It's been breezy for a while now in here. What's probably going to happen is as soon as I get to camp, I get up, park the boat, set her down, I'm going to start seeing fish jump or something. <laughs> it's it's going to drive me nuts. I'm going to have to come back out fishing. If that's the case, so be it. You hear me, Lake? I'm trying to say something so that you do it, so that I can come back out and fish. Come on, now. Don't disappoint me. Here's our little camp. There on those rocks. There it is. Looks so far away. Oh, this thing's tearing a little. I have used and abused this water filter over the years. Okay, this thing's gonna be, it's been sitting for a season. It's gonna be a jump start. Oh wait. Is it going? Oh, here's what we're gonna do. Oh, it's going real slow. That just won't do right now. There it goes. Trickle a little slow. Still faster than pumping. Oh, I just gotta get some of that air out. There it goes. All right. Haven't used it all season. Need to make sure. It is time to collect firewood. Fire over here where all the wood is. Bam. Fine, fine, fine. Now all gotta Boom. Do, now all I gotta do is pick this shit up and put it on. <laughs> Why make it harder on ourselves? 
Sun is setting. It's got like another 20 30 minutes, but we're out of the sun now. Oop, it's time to make some dinner. We're gonna have some venison back straps and then some of my homemade dehydrated spaghetti from my boundary waters trip back in October. So that should be pretty delicious, hopefully. Wow. Oh. That looks pretty good. Even for being lukewarm for a few days. I mean, what's better than spoiled meat? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Mm -mm -mm. We are going with smoky Montreal steak seasoning on these back straps today. Spicing it up. Changing things up. I think it just looks so delicious. some backstrap right there. Mm, 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 mm. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. That's some good spoiled meat. Hmm. Well. Do you don't even know how hard I'm trying to catch a fish? How do I even know, though? 
because <laughs> I don't lie. I definitely had them on, but I didn't. I didn't see them out of the water like your couple ones. Right. I can't believe you didn't get either of those. That second one you were pulling out of the water that it just like got right off. All right. Eight month old spaghetti. Please don't make me sick. Oh, it looks good already. There we go. Um, that's perfect for mine. Yours might be a little too much. Alright, now I'm just gonna hydrate. Still these ways. How don't you get like chums? Chums? Yeah, for your sunglasses. What are chums? The lanyard in the back of your sunglasses. Oh, I don't know. They don't ever fall off my head. But you stick them in your pocket and drop them. Yeah. All right, that needs a few minutes to dehydrate. My lips got burnt today. Sunburnt? Yeah. yeah. I'll have to bust on my chapstick. Check my spaghetti. Oh. All right. Oh, yeah. That's done. Jake even brought me out. A uh, kiwi watermelon Lacroix. It's gonna be delicious. All right, let's eat this. <laughs> oh, let's crack my Lacroix. Oh, nothing like a carbonated water out in the. Out, out in the woods when you're camping. Mm. That is still delicious. Eight months later. Mm. Mm. I will show a video how I make my dehydrated meals. Next time I make a big batch. I should just bring out a soda stream next time I go camping. Then I could have carbonated glacier water. I'm gonna smash this. Jake's working on hanging the bear bag. It's being difficult. <laughs> That's some good food. Well, for right now, Jake's over there hanging the bear bag, and well, he accomplished it. He's got some kindling for tomorrow morning. But we're just gonna let this fire burn down, and then we're probably gonna tuck her out and go to bed. Ate some good food, and I'm pretty full. Whew. <laughs> She's a Sandy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, ate some good food, did a lot of fishing, didn't catch shit, but uh, it's time to layer up, crawl in the bed, pass out. 
So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. It's hilarious to get up into the world. Alright, let's do it. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Waking up and opening the tent to uh, the view of the mountains. Mm -hmm. Hey, all the flesh is gone. this side. Think about all the more fishing opportunities you have now. Oh. Fishing. Hey, a fish did just jump over there. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. Off to the left. Hey, morning is when you need to fish the Hungry Horse Reservoir. Maybe. Time. Wouldn't it be sweet if the bear bag was gone? Yeah. Because it was it was hung so high. I wouldn't try to get that. <laughs> Look at it. Well, it's just too much work. I have to stand up on my hind legs. <laughs> you think my truck's still there? Um, I'd say there's a, a small chance your truck's still there. Problem, dog. Nice. Oatmeal burn. That's a big chunk of sugar in yeah, there. Yeah, it all fell in there. <laughs> oh, man. I wasn't about to stick my hand in there to dig it out. <laughs> um, so, not only do you get caffeinated, you're going to get sugar bugs. I think I'm going to take some of this out. No, dude. Dude, that's half sugar. That's good. <laughs> no. Don't be an asshole, dude. You eat the breakfast I gave you. No. Your bear bag held up? Yeah, dude. Wow. There's. Good thing there's no bears in the area. No, you can see where they like caught at the tree, <laughs> not on the rope a little bit. They just couldn't get it down, so they, they, they left. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's exactly how it went. Just eat it, dude. That's. <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Lighter out. Clouds are just.
baiting. See where we're at. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Should I just water your oatmeal down with the coffee? There you go. Thanks, dude. You take care of me so well out here. Right, would you say you're happy with that? I'm 100% happy with All that. All that water? Mm, just keep going until we see a little. That's good. Oh, dude. A little bit more. It's going to fall. Just a, just a smidge. That's good. That's good. Perfect. That is a bowl of oats. That's about as much as I ate in spaghetti yesterday. Put some snow in there. In my oatmeal? Yeah, and your coffee. This coffee should make you get the shit. It will. <laughs> Are you gonna shit? Probably. You said you asked me if I had the farts last night, and I did not until like I got moving around this morning. <laughs> uh oh. Well, this might have been too much water. It's a little soupy. It's really sugary. <laughs> do, you, oh. do you want more sugar? No. You want coffee in there? It's sweet. I'm gonna I'm gonna get going off of this. <laughs> I think we should uh, tomorrow. We should make oatmeal with coffee. We'll try it. Why, why beat around the bush and have a cup of coffee when you could just have coffee and oatmeal in one sitting? I'll try it. It probably tastes real bad. With a little bit of brown sugar? I will use a lot of, I will use more, a double of this. <laughs> you want me to sprinkle some coffee grounds on that? No. Alrighty. Well. It's time to get going back to the car now. Fishing. Yeah. I got a bite around this corner. Yep. From the from the cold air on my knees, this, the wind was biting. Oh yeah. I was convinced that they were congregated because. Of... Hey. Aw. That. Yeah, that loon. He wanted to say hello, but then he was like, Get the hell out of here. Yeah. Haloon. 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 Alright ladies and gentlemen, we just got to pad a little bit more and then we've got to hike back up or climb our stuff back up that steep hill to the uh, snowmobile trail. You know what I'm saying? Well, you're, so you're saying I get to pull the canoe all the way back? Oh sure, okay. Sure, sure I'll pull the whole canoe by myself. No, it's fine. No, no, it's fine. No, 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 no. I'll just take your bag. Let's just put them all in the canoe and I'll pull the whole thing. No, no. <laughs> well, it's all downhill, so it's not going to be a big deal. I was pulling it all uphill yesterday. That would be fun until you die. 
any blood. <laughs> it's Royal X, right? Oh, invincible. Like Lewis and Clark right now, bro. You're right. yeah. We're victorious. We made it. All the stuff, no injuries, just lower back pain. <laughs> so we just did all that, hiked down there, or hiked up, brought all the stuff up, and my knife unclipped my belt or off my pants, my EDC everyday carry knife on the hill. I had a big debate sitting here like, do I want to go hike and try to find it? Ended up going and trying to find it. Paid off. Found it. <laughs> but I had to go down ways again. But I didn't lose my knife. It makes me happy.